Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Four Brothers 365, well P365X macro holster. Uh, I was looking for a appendix in the waistband setup that was going to be um, less obtrusive than a uh, hybrid holster, you know, leather and kydex combined. And this was really my first. Uh, First foray with a Kydex, full Kydex holster. And um, I will say that uh, it's very comfortable. The DCC mono clip on both the holster and the magazine holder, it locks everything in place on your belt perfectly. Um, and that's partly due to these little tabs you see inside the clip area there and what that does it locks on the bottom of your belt and the top of your belts up here these are spring steel so they're robust they're gonna do their job they're not gonna give up easily and uh, once they're on your belt they will not come off uh, it's a very very strong setup if you're looking for something that's gonna retain really well I highly recommend these you can if you already have a holster you can buy these separately um, right from the manufacturer or you can go to four brothers and get them from them as well um, overall very pleased with the holster uh, it's lightweight and just so people don't freak out here it's unloaded nothing in the chamber no magazine um, <clears throat> It uh, comes with the wing or claw, whatever you want to call it. Um, the only problem I had with this setup was there were only two holes drilled here. And this was not lining up with my belt correctly. So what I did was I put this one in place, lined this up, drilled another hole, and was able to transfer from here to here for that extra mounting point. And now it rides right in line with my belt you know, a minor adjustment, no big deal. Um, and that's all going to depend on where you place that clip. You know, I could have went down a little further. I like where it is all the way at the top, though, because it allows me to sink that holster down in further for deeper concealment. And, uh, yeah, I, I really like the way it sits. Um, it's a really nice holster. Full disclosure, I bought this. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not repping the company. Uh, this is, like I said, this is just my first time, you know, trying out a Kydex holster. And uh, the only other issue I found was that, because I'm a bigger guy, and some of you guys are going to be able to um, understand where I'm coming from when I say that that little uh, dad bod is getting in the way down there. And so what I did was I went to Tier 1 Concealed, and I got their wedge kit. And uh, because this is, sits low and it tended to, you know, rock outwards, especially when sitting uh, in the car, at a table, whatever, um, I wanted to bring the grip of the gun in to my waistline better. And what this does is this helps push it outward like this and then obviously the butt back inward. Uh, so between the claw or wing, whatever you want to call it, there's different names for it, um, and this wedge, you get a really nice setup where it's going to push up against your body and it's not going to print too much. Um, obviously, clothing helps with that too, but in this case, um, I needed that little extra help. And uh, sorry, Jason, but I looked on the website. I didn't see if you had any wedges or not. And... Uh, I couldn't find any if you did have them so if that's the case I apologize I would have went straight to you however tier one concealed has their little kit there together again I'm not paid by them either I bought the kit I think it was like 18 or 20 bucks something like that it wasn't that much it comes with four different sizes if you buy the kit um, that said 
uh, you know, the other thing I really like too is the tensioning adjustment for the magazines. Uh, some holsters have this, you know, for their spare magazine or sidecar. Some don't. Uh, the fact that Jason put this in there, uh, I really, really do like this a lot better because what it does is it allows you to adjust for that tension without having to mess with the uh, actual screws. You just turn this with the Allen and you can adjust how much tension you want on your magazine. You know, it's in there where it's not going to fall out. It's just got just enough to where if you draw, it's going to come right out, but it won't fall out on its own. Uh, same with the holster. Holster's got a good amount of tension. It's not going to fall out, as you can see. And uh, I really like it. Now, some more disclosure here. Um, originally, when Jason sent me the holster, uh, I did an initial review. However, what had happened was the I put my TLR7 sub light on there and it did not have the 1913 rail adapter so what it did was it caused the light to sit downward and so when i tried to put it in the original holster it got really tight right about there uh, right as the light tried to enter the holster um, obviously i got that resolved i went back to streamlight i got the 1913 rail adapter and now the flashlight sits proper and I have no issues with holster mounting. Um, if you do leave your sub on there with the sub claw, uh, it's going to impede any holster you try to put this in. Even the ones that are marked with a Streamlight sub, uh, with this rail, you've got to have the 1913 rail adapter on there. Otherwise, it's going to cause issues with fitment. Um, just get putting that out there because trust me I found out the hard way <laughs> so um, after talking with Jason he was kind enough to you know get me out a new shell because I had to heat up the other one to try to get it to fit and um, so he got that out to me right away so that I could go ahead and get this video done I had unfortunately I had to wait for the 1913 rail because uh, Streamlight has uh, got them on back order because so many people are going through the same thing the macro grips are really hot right now this is the ultimate setup if you're going to carry a light on one of these macros um you, but you got to have that 1913 rail so if you're going to put a light on your macro if you don't already have one do not buy the sig you know the sub for the sig buy the 1913 tlr7a so you don't want that sub being on there otherwise you're going to run into the same problem i did uh, initially this was an xl that it turned into a macro hence the reason why i had the sub so keep that in mind when you uh go to order your holster get the right stuff and you won't have any issues uh again thanks for brothers jason you put out a good product i like it uh people i showed it to really like it and uh look forward to doing business with you in the future if you guys are looking for a good holster don't be afraid to give four brothers a call they do a real nice job. Jason's a good guy to talk to, and uh, he'll help you out, get you squared away. Uh, we also are on Facebook. He's got a group on there, and the, I think it's a three, P365. And then there's a holster section in the subgroup. And uh, very helpful to other people. Even if it's something he doesn't carry, he can point you in the right direction as to who does carry it. Uh, that's rare these days when you get somebody who's willing to steer you towards another product because they don't have it um stand by and i'll show you what it looks like when it's in the waistline all right so this is about all that's exposed on this in the waist area and if you wear the proper clothing and you cover it up you're not going to have any real major printing going on as you can see I'm not a small guy. I can tuck that in under my shirt, wearing shorts, t-shirt, and I'm fine. Whereas, you know, some of these other holsters, it's going to be sticking out quite a ways. Um, and then when you add the, the magazine holder in there as well, you'll get, uh, you know, be sitting, you can adjust wherever you want this, which is a nice part about having it detached. Um, the sidecars, are kind of nice because it keeps everything kind of together uh, but this is great if you want options as to where you want to put your spare mag holder and 
again, real good holster. I like the way it works. I like the way it fits. Um, for me, unfortunately, that extra wedge was necessary to help keep that handle in so I don't print. And as you can see, turning side to side, front to back, I don't have any issues with printing. Um, and for the macro grip, that's pretty good because it does stick out a lot further than the XL. And uh, that claw or wing, as you can see here, that does really help a lot uh, with riding underneath your belt uh, and your uh, the inside of your pant or shorts, whatever you're wearing. And that helps force that handle back in at the same time. So again, uh, really like the product, really lightweight, really easy to use, very comfortable. So that wraps up the Four Brothers holster today. If you liked it, please hit the like, share, and hit that subscribe bell. We try to bring you the best content we can for anything firearms related, and hopefully bring you some quality products along the way. If you have any questions, go ahead and hit the comment down below. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Have you tried Four Brothers? Do you like Four Brothers? Who else have you tried? Let's uh, have a conversation. He be out.